This video is going to demonstrate how the Pages option in Blogger works. I've logged into my blog and I want to click Pages over here. At this point I can create a new page. I have two choices. I can create a blank page or something that's going to go directly to a web address. We're going to start with that one. We're studying the weather in class so I'm going to make one that goes to the weather channel got my address up here and if I copy that go back I can paste it directly in and click Save. So you notice now I have my home and my weather. I want to click here. I want to show them as top tabs. I can show them on the side or have them not show up at all and then manually link to them. I'm going to show on top. Click Save Let's view the blog to see our work. So here are my posts. Now if I go here and click weather, we'll go directly to that web page. I'm going to go up and click back to get back to our blog. Now I want to add a new page but it's going to be a blank page. Think of this as one post and one post only. I can only post something here and I could go back and alter that but it's not like your traditional blog where you can have another post and another post. This is kind of one size fits all. Think of this as a little more static information. Things that are not necessarily going to change. So I've added my contact information here. I'm going to click Save publish the page. As you see now it has appeared here. Let's go view my blog. You'll notice that we have the weather that's going to go directly to an external page but if I click contact information it's going to stay all within the blog. But I kind of want contact information over here. So if I go back to my settings and take my mouse to the left side, this little blue area, I click and I'm going to drag this up top. Save my arrangement and view the blog again. Now as you notice they've been reorganized contact information, home, and then the weather. This video has demonstrated how to use pages in Blogger.